Press record. We're here today in Jerry's gym to train. We're training for HC+. We're talking dedication, and that's what we're here to do. This is how we work out, boys. Tell me, relax. Aggressive and angry. I think a fucking bad man in our family's face. Well, it was still back in the in the late 80s, the only training facility we had was a pull-up bar and climbing on Bringrove Road in Sheffield, trying to find a dry little piece of rock. Because in some ways it was getting structured, but mainly it was group of friends just doing bouldering. I think people were looking for answers to questions. Although people bouldered, virtually no one bouldered for the sake of bouldering. Jerry clicked onto bouldering quite quickly, part of his success with that, and he, he, he switched Ben onto it as well. And uh, uh, to a certain extent, people like that, they saw bouldering as the an one of the answers. And then Andy built in his garage a wooden board with numbers on it, so it was probably maybe like two feet, two or three feet high, four foot wide, and they just put some finger holes on it, put numbers on them, moves like that, so it was fantastic for finger strength. It rocked a lot, it went that way and that way. Every time you went that way for a hold, by the time you got there, it was over here. Everyone's boards were built in, in you know, people's cellars, and obviously the cellars varied depending on the sort of size of the house. Every time you fell off, you go whack on the mattress. Oh, it's chalk and fly. There's no ventilation or anything. Gulp in air. You know. Where's the board? Bad not good for your health at all. The whole days of our lives are spent down there. Okay, this is what we call the uh, this is, You know, people ask why the English is so much superior to all the French. You know, in climbing and, and just the way they are, their personalities, the sort of thing like that. This is in one of the reasons. Particular. This is just you know, half of my gym. You've seen the other part of the gym. This is, you know, we've got 50 there, so there's 51 arms on there, and that's a commemorative <laughs> thing on, on, on you know, these three fingers. Okay, Jerry bought his house just down the road um, because this bit, it had a basement, and that was the idea of the rest of the house. He didn't wasn't particularly bothered about. And he had like a short sort of short sort of board set at probably 45, 50 degrees. I used to wake up in the morning, not have any breakfast, wait till about 12 o'clock till my stomach it's just really tight and I was starving and I'd go down there. That was my training regime. Yes! That was terms, you cheating fucker. Cut that out. Awesome and standards just really took off. Yeah, just enabled everyone to train all the time, you know, throughout the winter and everything, and on steeper sort of stuff in the sort of new style of climbing. Everybody who trained there improved massively the next year because you just had all that power and you could train all winter and stuff. It just meant you could train more specifically for a certain route and stuff like that.